The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at a tournament fishing boat, the Nitro ZV21. Now, usually when we do this, we look at a shiny brand new boat and show empty compartments and discuss how they could be used. But today, this boat is currently in use in the tournament circuit, so let's take a look at how its captain makes use of her features. Pros Gary and Chase Parsons had a heavy hand in the design and input in making sure that the ZV21 met the needs of walleye anglers. First of all, the storage compartments are incredibly deep and just swallow everything that you could possibly want to put in them. They're not only lighted, the switches are on the lights themselves so you don't have to go hunting for a switch at the panel in the dark. The center rod storage compartment is huge. Right now, there are 20 rods and there's still room for more. And notice the hatch covers are all reinforced with aluminum square channel held in place by stainless steel piano hinge and supported by two gas struts. And of course, all the compartments are lockable. Deport is a cooler that can accommodate not only bags of ice, but all the supplies to carry several guys through the day. And it's even lockable. To starboard is a 5.5 gallon live well. The interior is round to protect the bait and it includes a built in oxygenator. A removable bucket is provided to lay in place. The foot control for the trolling motor is recessed in a well at the bow, and the ZV21 is not only rigged for the trolling motor, but a waterproof switch panel is fitted to control critical items such as lights and live wells. Even electronics are easily accommodated, and Nitro even made sure that both tall and short captains were taken care of. The rails are angled inward so they still provide adequate protection while at the same time moving rail mounted rod holders 4-5 to five inches closer. At 21 feet, she's laid out to allow plenty of room for moving about. Jigging all day while you're standing can be hard on the back, and Nitro accommodates this by adding extra padding underneath the carpet. And we're talking marine grade padding that doesn't hold water, so this carpeted deck can still be hosed down. Let's move to the helm console. To begin, the smoked windshields are quite thick and high enough to deflect the wind over the operator's head. The panel has recessed areas to accommodate pedestal mounting of electronics, here is an 8 inch and a 10 inch display. The full array of gauges have white faces and chrome bezels. To the right, we're even accommodating a Smartcraft gauge. Naturally, the switch panel is waterproof, and notice how the horn button is standing out in bright red. And Nitro accommodates an actual horn, not an electronic buzzer. But my favorite? One switch kills power to everything, so even if you get to turn the battery switches off, they won't be continually draining. Just to the right is a convenient tool holder. Again, captains of varying sizes are accommodated by not only a tilt wheel, but a seat that swivels, slides, and is mounted to a high-low pedestal. Between the dual consoles is a day box that holds two Plano tackle boxes. These get loaded with things that you're constantly going after. The port console gets the same seat as the helm that swivels, slides, and adjusts for height, and it also folds down on pinchless hinges. Just ahead is a massive glove box that houses the stereo in an enormous amount of space, and it's even carpeted to protect the contents, and yes, it's lockable. To the left of the console is storage for six rods and in an extended space just above makes a great place for storing the net. Moving back to the cockpit, Nitro added two more pedestal bases to provide fishing areas with a lower center of gravity when the chop starts to build. And again, the extra padding is in place just underneath the carpeting. Once again, the rails are angled inward and rail mounted rod holders can present a serious spread especially when spider rigging. Side bench is open to reveal even more storage. This one is holding, I kid you not, 25 Plano tackle boxes. The aft casting deck has side hatches that open to access the mechanical components such as steering pumps and oil reservoirs. The interior is completely finished off, and boxes that can be easily removed and loaded at home simply drop into place. This one is holding another 22 tackle boxes, allowing this captain to rig the boat for whatever type of fishing he's going to do in a moment's notice. In fact, this captain has loaded up to 72 Plano tackle boxes total into this boat. In the center is a 26 gallon live well, and a lot of thought went into the design. It's designed by Kevin Van Dam to include an anti-slosh rim to protect the bait at high speeds. The edges are rounded, and the interior is colored blue to reduce the shock effect on the bait. And one side is molded to accommodate a bait bucket. Now take a look at this. Six batteries with room for a seventh. With three fish finders, a 36 volt trolling motor, these big live well pumps that are double the size of average pumps, bait well pumps all continually operating all day long throughout a tournament, the need for power is great and the ZV21 delivers. With this setup, the captain has triple batteries for the trolling motor, a standard cranking battery, a spare cranking battery, if he wanted he could run the whole boat off a of 112 volt or tandem two together to run two batteries off of one system. 
This is a huge factor when you have 30 to 40 pounds of walleye on board and the weigh-in is 40 miles away. And finally, we get to a match made in heaven, the ZV-21 and the Mercury 300 horsepower Verado. Here, the Verado is tied to a 9.9 .9 horsepower kicker, so the hydraulic steering is turning both motors. Now let's see how this 300 horsepower Verado performs on this fully loaded and tournament rigged boat. The Nitro ZV-21 has a length overall of 21 feet 7 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a draft of 18 inches. With an empty weight of 2,900 pounds, 40 gallons of fuel, two people, and the 647 pound 300 horsepower Verado, we had a test weight of 4,685 pounds. With the 300 horsepower Verado turning a 15 and a quarter by 22 four bladed stainless steel prop, we reached a top speed at 6,100 RPM of 56.9 miles per hour. At that speed, fuel burn was 29.8 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 110 miles. Best cruise came in at 3,000 RPM and 23.9 miles per hour. At that speed, the fuel burn was reduced to 6.2 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 222 miles and an endurance of 9 hours and 18 minutes while still maintaining a 10% reserve. We had a time to plane of only 4 seconds and reached 20 miles per hour in 7 seconds, 30 in 9.8 seconds, and continued accelerating through 40 miles per hour in 13.7 seconds. Her high feedboard makes a great handling boat on the chop, which makes her ideal for big bodies of water like Table Rock or the Great Lakes. Nitro put everything into making sure that the needs of fishermen are met with the ZV-21, and based on what I've seen with this tournament rigged version, they clearly met and exceeded that goal. That's our full look at the ZV-21 by Nitro. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.